Hello, welcome to the first vlog of Team B Newcastle Central. I'm Harris Qureshi and I'm the uh, Team B leader for this year. Now, last year I was uh, a volunteer with Team B Bradford. You can see, uh, if you follow the link below to Jay Desai, who was a Team B leader for Bradford last year, go to her page and see all the videos there, of which you'll see me as uh, one of the volunteers. But then I went for an interview during the summer and I got signed up as a Team B leader. So, which means I need a bit of a change of wardrobe because I'm in rough colours right now. So, if you excuse me a second. And here I am wearing my purple Team B leader t-shirt. To be honest, I think purple suits me much better than the blue. So, I've introduced myself, I'm Harris, but who actually am I? Well, as I've mentioned, I was part of Team B Bradford, so Bradford is where I come from, it's where I've lived for 19 years of my life, until now, because now I've moved to Newcastle for university, where I'm studying a five year long uh, degree, I'm doing a master's in computer science, and then a year in industry, so that's five years in total. Um, I'm also obviously an avid filmmaker, that's why I'm making these vlogs to both document my journey as a Team B leader and also to document the experiences of Team B Newcastle Central uh, as a whole. Uh, I also make my own vlogs, so far be it from me to make an easy cheeky plug, but if you do want to watch some of my vlogs, the links are in the description uh, below. So what's happened in the Team B journey so far? Well, after my interview in September, I got calls to a warm-up day where I got this really cool uh, Team B Leader uh, toolkit bag thing where I have everything I need to be a really awesome Team B Leader. Most importantly, the Team B Leader Handbook 2014. I also have in here this ID card to prove that I'm actually a Team B leader and not some imposter and I'm actually going to wear this. It's me. So what's next in the Team B journey? Well, tomorrow I'm going down to rugby for my first ever Team B leader residential resi 1. Uh, residential 1. And whilst I'm there I'll be taught everything I need to know to successfully run the first campaign. Now, I don't actually know what the first campaign is yet because we haven't been told. We're all going to be told in what I suppose is going to be an overly flashy and rather ceremonious display and we're going to be basically told what our first campaign is and I'm sort of hoping it's not going to be a too difficult one for my first venture out as a team leader. And of course I've been taking my camera with me because I take my camera pretty much everywhere except I suppose the bathroom because that would be weird. But anyway, I'm going to be taking it down to rugby and filming uh, the parts of the residential obviously. So you'll we'll see a vlog uh, about that. Now I'm actually having to go and meet my so far only volunteer and get to know her better so then I can get her to go out and go and recruit more millions of um, volunteers for me. So with that in mind and the fact that I still actually have to pack, uh, you're gonna have to excuse me, so I will see you guys uh, later. Go. So I ordered 200 of these uh, leaflets to be printed out so I could uh, I could tell people how to get in contact with me if they wanted to be part of Team B Newcastle Central but they made a mistake and they didn't include my contact details so they printed out some new ones but obviously they got nothing. They, they don't need to keep these, so they threw these in for free. But I have no use for leaflets with my contact details not on it, so they gave me these stickers as well. And I thought that was quite a good idea, because now I've got 400 leaflets for a price of 200. What I didn't realise is that I now have to individually peel 200 le uh, stickers and stick them onto 200 leaflets. And my thumbs are really, really not happy right now so yeah it's, I don't think this is my job description <laughs>